Okay, Hillary, um, here's your video. Let me put on some music. Okay, so on photo filter, you click on open. I wonder what picture I'm going to use. I'll use this one. Okay. When you have your image open, you click on the polygon tool. And then you trace it carefully along the line. After that, you click inside of here, stroke and fill. Um, make sure stroke is unchecked because that will mess everything up. And when you check fill, make sure you check fill pattern too. Um, let's see which one I'm going to use. Preview. Okay. Now I'm gonna do that again. Right click, stroke and fill. Preview. Okay. And then you do it again. Okay, now I'm going to change her eye color, and I take the same tool that I used before, and I just copy around where her eye is. I Then I click this right here, and I, I think I want it pink, so I'm going to put it pink, if it's okay. And then to get rid of the little outline thing there, you just click on polygon lasso tool, and there her eye is pink. And to make a uh, cool text, let's see, I'm going to choose pharmacy here. Um, it doesn't matter what color the font is because um, you'll see in a minute. Hmm, let's see. Make up a name. Snazzy girl. After you do that, you click transform to selection. I gotta make the font a little bit smaller. The font that I use is pharmacy and my font size is 64. I mean 63. Okay, so you right click on the transfer, trans, whatever text, and then you don't click fill, but you click stroke, and you can make the stroke whatever color you want, but I want mine to be black. Preview, my width is one, then you right click on that, oh wait, no, you don't. And then you click this right here. I like to do it from top to bottom, and choose your colors. I think I'm going to choose this really pretty pink and 
this cute gray. I think that looks nice. Then you click on selection and then you click on expand. Well, 10 is usually the best, 9 or 10, but I mean, I'm choosing 8. And then you see this. You right click that, stroke and fill. You can make your stroke whatever color you want to, but this time you fill. Oh wait, you know you don't have to fill. Okay, I'm just gonna stroke it again. Okay, now minimize that, open a new image, make sure it's 200 by 200. Control A, which is select all, right click, stroke and fill, no stroke because that'll mess everything up. Um, wait, no fill pattern. Um, I want stripes to be in the background of my words, so I'm just going to have it like that, and then you choose whichever kind of design you want, and I want this one. Preview, that's what it's going to look like. Then you click on edit. Find pattern, right click, copy, minimize that, open your image, um, click on the fill bucket, and then make sure you have pattern checked or it won't work. You, well, sometimes I zoom in, sometimes I don't, but I guess I won't this time. Yeah, I will. And then you just fill. Sometimes the filling doesn't work for some reason. Maybe it's my mouse, I don't know. But, oh, here's another trick. If your filling doesn't work, then do this. Make new text. Have your, have your um, thing there. Oh wait. You click that, right click. And you can fill it yourself. The, the fill will go over the words, but you'll find out what to do next. And then after that, you do the text again and make sure you lay the text right on top of where it was before so it's not messed up right click stroke and just do the same thing that you did before and then click polygon to get rid of that and there is your awesome image with different eye color and background and awesome text bye